those parties clearly backing independence win a clear majority in the new regional government. And the lo latest opinion polls I've seen suggest that the, the party in the lead right now is Mr. Hankeris' party, the gentleman I've just talked about, with his ERC party, which is entirely committed to independence. It looks like the vote is going to be very close. But if the forces of independence win, will you accept that that represents a legitimate mandate for the Catalan regional government to push on with their quest for secession and independence? It will be a mandate. No, I don't accept that. Because in order to do that, they will have to go present themselves in Madrid at the Spanish parliament, where all Spaniards are represented, propose that, and that all Spaniards, the representation of all Spaniards, decide what their country is. Because the, the fundamental thing here which is missing is uh, why, where is it written, not in the Spanish constitution or, or, or in international public law, that a part of a country can decide what the whole country is. It's also personal for me. I want to decide what my country is. Why should anyone deprive me from voting in the end or from giving my opinion of my country, the definition of my country? You know, we have a constitution that was approved yeah. by 91% of Catalans, which is very clear about this. It, it is very clear and, and it says that what the country is, what Spain is, has to be decided by all Spanish. Well, in, interesting, and I'm not sensing any movement or compromise in your answer. But it is interesting to note that in 2006, uh, the con constitutional agreement that Spain signed up to did talk of a Catalan nation. You're now, it seems, not prepared to recognize any notion of self-determination for the people of Catalonia. And I would just suggest to you that if this vote goes the way of the independence parties, you're going to have a crisis in Spain, and the European Union will probably begin to lose patience with a Madrid government that is not prepared to talk the language of compromise. Well, that's your opinion. It's not my opinion. These kind of things can't happen in Europe, in, in, in the European Union anymore. Um, the European Union has a treaty, you know, all we, uh, we have all signed to this treaty, and it says that the European Union, meaning the European institutions and the European countries, member states, have to uh, respect uh, constitutional order of uh, of uh, the member states. It wouldn't be possible in France. It wouldn't be possible in Germany. You know, in Italy, the constitutional court uh, revoked a law in some of the uh, Italian provinces calling for a referendum of self-determination. The, the, the only difference with the Catalan government and those regional governments in Italy is that the regional governments in Italy accepted the court ruling. Uh, the, the regional government in Catalonia didn't. So right. uh, um, it, it is a question of, it's not a question of, of law and democracy. It, what is the law in a democratic world? It is the expression of democratic dialogue. So you want to change the constitution, come, propose it, and if you, if you have enough support, right. we'll change it. All but right. we will all uh, be able to vote. All right, Mr. T